Let's take a few moments and introduce you to the Camera Raw interface. I'm starting here in Bridge to open some files in Camera Raw. Here are three images I took at Zion's Canyon. I took the first shot, then swiveled on my feet just a few degrees and took the second shot. I once again swiveled on my feet and took the third shot. Let's open all three of these by pressing the Open in Camera Raw button at the top. Now we're in Camera Raw. Let's start with this button up here. This button allows Camera Raw to go full screen. It's just an on and off switch. On the left side, there is the film strip panel. It appears when I've opened up more than one image. Here you can quickly work from one image to another in Camera Raw just by clicking on them. If you have more than one image highlighted, here I've clicked on the last one to select all three. There is a little drop down menu here. You can merge three exposures into a high dynamic range image. You could also merge three or more images into a panorama. We'll be showing you how to do this a little bit later in this lesson. Up here at the top are the tools that come with Camera Raw. Hover your mouse over any of the tools up there and a tool tip will appear, which will give you its name and the shortcut key for it. Some of the tools at the top have a drop-down menu. If you click on the tool, it will give you even more choices. We will learn more about these tools later in the lessons and even in more detail in the advanced Photoshop and graphic design course. And of course here at center stage in all its glory is the image that we're working on. Over here on the right side we have our panels and a thing called the histogram. A histogram is a graphical representation of all the values in this image from the darkest blacks on the left side to the lightest whites on the right side. Looking at this histogram, you can see there are quite a few darks on the left side, some lower value grays, fewer even lighter grays, and almost no whites at all. Down below are Camera Raw's working panels. If you hover over each of the panels, a tooltip will emerge that will give you the name of that panel. The way Camera Raw is set up is that you work your way through these panels from left to right. Each panel gives you different kinds of things you can do with your image. To give you an idea how these work, let's start with the basic panel. I want you to keep an eye on the histogram as I play with some of these sliders. I can tell from the histogram that this image is a little bit underexposed. So if I move the exposure slider so that that histogram moves toward the middle, that should be about the right level of exposure. All of the sliders in this panel will have an impact on your image. Here I'm playing with the contrast slider. This is the highlights slider. The shadows slider allows us to bring out details in the shadows or darken them down and lose some of the detail. We can play with whites in the image. We can play with blacks. We can also adjust the clarity in an image. One of the newer sliders is the dehaze slider, where we can either put haze into an image or take haze out of an image. We can adjust the level of vibrance in an image. And we can play with saturation. So as you work your way through Camera Raw's panels, you can do different things like sharpening and noise reduction, play with hue, saturation, and luminance, split toning, camera lens corrections, special effects like adding grain into an image. Another special effect is adding a post-crop vignette, either a light or a dark one. There are just so many features here in Camera Raw that we will go through in this course and the next one. Let's flip back over to the basic panel and learn more about the interface. If you have more than one image open in the film strip, you can flip through them down here. These tools allow you to view before and after views. 
Let me demonstrate by making some adjustments, and then I'll show you what these views do. I use these buttons to cycle between before and after views. On the left is what my image looked like when I first brought it in, and here's what it looks like now after I've made the changes. Each time you click, you'll be offered a different before and after view. This section of the camera raw interface lets us adjust our zoom level from fitting into the frame to 100% or other views. One of the options is to do a scrubby zoom, which means I can click in the image and drag up or down to zoom in or out on any particular part of the image I want to view. Here we can click and save our image, convert images into different formats, do a number of different things. We'll learn more about that later. Clicking here will open up the image or images I've got selected in Photoshop. This allows us to cancel. Clicking the Done button will save these settings in our image, but won't open it in Photoshop. Now if I hold down my Option key or Alt key on a PC, this will turn into a Reset button. The Option key also turns this into a Open Copy button, which will allow me to open up a copy rather than this image in Photoshop. Okay, that is a quick overview of the Camera Raw interface.